Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you on Tuesdays, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Today, we are going to be wrapping up our series on all things DDA. So if you've missed any of the previous episodes, you're going to want to go back and tune in. We covered what is the DDA, what did they do, how did they get funding, what their special accreditations are, and then we did go into detail about a really great project that is in the works with the DDA. So today I have back with us Molly Lalone, the Executive Director of the Lake Orion DDA. Welcome, Molly. Hello. Hi. And so today we're going to be kind of wrapping up and talking about like what's coming up. So, you know, we we did talk about the Lake Orion Lumberyard Project, which we did a whole episode on that one. Mm-hmm. Um, Very exciting. If you have not seen that episode, you're going to want to go back and watch that one because we really talk in more detail on that. Um, So that's really exciting. But but that's not the only thing that's going on with the DDA. So no, (laughs) the Lake Orion Lumber Yard project, just briefly, I want you guys to know that we're trying to purchase that property and we want to make it um, dedicated event space and parking and community space. Communities. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Like one of the things like a dedicated event space. So things like where now the children's park parking lot ends up becoming like where the tents go and Mm -hmm. things for events. So Yes, we have that space, but then we lose all the parking. and so, We close down the streets. We yes. lose all the parking. We want to so, be able to have have a nice big party for yeah. Dragon on the Lake, yes. but also have the parties the par- <laughs> that we always have in downtown. We want those yeah. two things to be able to happen at the same time. That would be fantastic. And, 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 and still have the parking. I know everybody loves parking. parking so, right. Yeah. right. So if you would like more details about that, we did do um, a video. Um, where the architect actually goes through the entire plan. That's oh. on On TV's YouTube channel. So yeah. if anybody wants to hear more about it, they can. And and also, I'm always around. Um, I'm here Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Come and talk to me. I'm yep. happy to tell you about all the yeah. stuff. That's right. We did. Uh, we have that. There's that. Did you do another one? Because we did that one episode where we had, uh, yeah, the architect Scott, and he, he showed some of the plans. But I think right. you, you, have, you have others as well. So, yeah. So if you want more detail, definitely tune into that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but. But there's other things. What else yes. have we been Let's doing? talk about the Stronger Together campaign yes. where we're working with Oxford and we're yeah. doing regional tourism and we're um, we're able to have our events happen in both towns. That's and we have a so trolley and the trolley yes. runs back and forth. <laughs> hey, leprechauns. Yeah. It was good to see you. I'm so glad you had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That was, a, that was a little while ago now, but, but yeah, that was yeah. so much fun. I mean, mm-hmm. it's like, so you don't just have the one town to go to to for right. events like that but yeah. you can go back and forth between both it's so much fun mm-hmm. so love it love seeing more of the partnerships and yeah. so you you and Oxford like Lake Warren and Oxford you guys are getting some national recognition for this we right? are oh yeah. my gosh I, you, who knew that um, just simply working together towards um, the, the good of the community and the businesses would be yeah. such a big deal but it is yeah it's a yeah. big deal we, um, we we've gotten some awards we've gotten two awards for this so far okay um, we spoke in Muskegon um, to this to a state um, at a state conference talking about our campaign and we had other community directors coming up and saying I have a trolley I didn't think of doing that I'm going to use my trolley that way (laughs) you know what my town and this town are right next to each other we're going to talk next week that's and and now yeah yeah yeah. and now we're going to be able to go to um, we're going to a national conference in Boston and we're going to talk to the entire country about how uh, you can work together for regional tourism. Create your own regional tourism. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and, you're trailblazers. Ah, gosh, <laughs> and as it happens, uh, here we are. We've been working together with Oxford. We've been um, doing our programs. I mean, it's not just providing a trolley. It's having events that happen in both downtowns. So that's what's making the yeah. big, biggest difference. I yeah. mean, people are able to expand their fun. Yes. <laughs> And we also, like our fun. We yeah, like our fun. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But what we understand, this is a news for everybody. There's um, a big development coming um, to Lake to Lapeer. Ooh, straight okay. up M24. For yeah. Us, in case you don't know the map, it's straight up M24. Yeah. Um, huge development. That we know that there's going to be hotels there. Wow. There's going to be venues there. I mean, I don't. You know, we don't know 
what kind of fun it's going to be. We know it's going to be fun. Yes. And it's just north of us. So yeah, we're, it's not um, too far north. No. Yeah. Yeah, just up so, the road. So um, Kelly, Kelly uh, is uh, the DDA director in Oxford, and she and I are the ones who kind of work together to make all these plans with our team. Yeah. I mean, we don't do anything by ourselves, right. but with our team, we do get that done. We're right. planning to talk to Lapeer and yes. see if they would like to, in the next coming years, start doing things with us. That would be so much fun. I've always – liked Lapeer. It's a small, mm-hmm. you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's a smaller, bigger, bigger, smaller it town. It looks smaller, bigger. Bigger town. Yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. bigger and it's also smaller. Yeah, yes. they have yeah. a very cute downtown as well. So mm-hmm. yeah, that would be fantastic. I would love it if we, we do something together with Lapeer. So that's really uh, exciting. Yeah. So, ah, so, fun. so those are some big things that are coming up. What are yeah. maybe some of the, the events that we have coming up here as well? I think well, let's start this, with the Stronger Together, all yeah. of the things that we do with Oxford. Um, we just finished um, Restaurant Week, Ice Fest, and um, the Letterboxing, which yep. is a treasure hunt, Okay, going through all the businesses, and yes. you, you, you have your own handmade stamp, and we have custom-made stamps. And our custom-made stamps this year were made by Village Council member Teresa Rutt. I want to okay. thank her. She did a beautiful job. Aww. You definitely, um, if you didn't have a chance to go find those, you want to mark your calendar for a- April next year. Year, so okay. you can go find those stamps. They're beautiful, oh. and it's a uh, you. It's a treasure hunt. You have to yeah. follow the clues to find the little so box, fun. and then you get to stamp your book with this customized um, stamp. That's the letterboxing. Um, in June, we're going to have another um, celebration, a summer celebration. Okay, it's kind of happening. Um, at the, we're having a day where we just kind of celebrate, and the Jubilee is happening. Um, it's the opening day of the concert series for Oxford. Their farmer's market is open. There's just, uh, you know, we just, and, and school has just gotten out. Yes, so that's it's always time. a good feeling. It's yeah. time, Woo, right? It's yeah. time. So that's <laughs> happening in June. And then in July and August, we have our concert series in the park, um, right down in Children's Park. And then um, we're going to do Witches' Night with Oxford. Um, and that's something, oh, my goodness, I had no idea there are that many witches and warlocks out. Yeah. That's a big event. Yes. And that is fun. Yeah, that is fun. And then our holiday season starts, and we have the Sing and Stroll um, event. And I want to thank all of the organizations that come out in support of that. We had the library come in, and they had their book up on a big screen. Oh. And then our our we had two librarians. They needed two librarians because there were different voices that needed to be <laughs> portrayed with well, that course. storybook. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then we had the choir come out and they were singing. We had the Lake Orion High School um, dance teams and cheer teams. And we had gymnasts um, from the local area. And I, I, I love so that special. too. I love that <laughs> the events that are put on involve like the local groups and community, mm-hmm. you know, members as yeah. well. It's so much fun. Yeah. So yeah, I, the best stuff that we do, I mean, none of it happens in a vacuum. It right. always um, comes with the enthusiasm from other individuals and organizations. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't forget about Halloween extravaganza in the park, all of that craziness that happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's delightful. Delightful for all the kids. That's um, probably one of my favorite things. Kids and the adults too. I mean, yeah. donuts and cider. Yes, and, yeah. donuts and cider. <laughs> the, yeah, the kid right. within us, right? Yes. The kids within us. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, in addition to the trolley rides, we also have horse and carriage rides that happen in the in the holidays. All of this, by the way, those things are funded by sponsors. Yeah. I want to thank the sponsors again. We don't. It, we aren't able to do this stuff without yeah. every pay, everyone's support. We yeah. need. And Always. those and those sponsors are local business owners yeah, and sometimes are. local community owners, but mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. are you know so they're putting back into the community, and yes. so that is we love that. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's lots of exciting stuff coming up and lots of things that have happened. Again, like the big project. If you want to learn more about the Lake Orion Lumberyard project, go back and watch that episode. Learn some more. Um, you know. Hopefully that will be uh, moving forward soon. And if just coming out, hanging out, enjoying the social district, stopping in one of your favorite local restaurants and then uh, walking around in the social district is your thing, then um, come and do that as well. We just want you to come downtown, enjoy, 
and uh, and support our local businesses as well. So yes, enjoy the shopping. Yeah, go get some chocolate. Go get some beautiful mm, clothing. Such good <laughs> chocolate. Yes, clothing. Do I was, your nails. Yeah, do your I was hair. just wearing a shirt the other day from Elixir, and someone's like, "Where did you get that?" And like, so yeah, mm-hmm. fantastic. So. Well, thank you so much, Molly, for being here and being with us through this series. I hope that you all found this so informative and helpful. And if you have any questions, if there's anything we didn't answer about the DDA in this series, feel free to reach out. You can reach out to myself. You can contact Molly through the DDA office. Um, Director at downtownlakeorian.org. <laughs> that's her email. So you can write that down. That's her direct email. So, <laughs> so feel free to reach out. Um, the DDA obviously does so much for our community, and we are grateful. I am grateful, um, and thank you for for being here with us today as well. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure so, to talk about the Lake Orion DDA um, and what we do for the community and um and to be able to say thank you to all the sponsors and all the supporters that we have we appreciate i i'm so happy that i was able to talk to you about all of the things that we do yeah i was so happy to have you here and thank you again so and thank you all for tuning in and we will see you next time on tea with tracy